fundamentally about realizing the most ambitious designs that we could come up with. From Giannis Antetokounmpo to Travis Scott to Chance the Rapper and Drake, the biggest names are donning the elusive brand acronym, including their biggest fan, John Mayer. Despite minimal marketing, Acronym's monochromatic, versatile garments seem to speak for themselves. Acronym launched the tech wear trend, reimagining sports and utility garments with futuristic flair. Devotees of the style count brand founder Errolson Hugh and Michaela Sachenbacher as one of their greatest inspirations. Hugh and Sachenbacher's relationship with Burton Snowboards lasted almost 14 years, dating back to 1995. Stone Island brought on Hugh in 2008 to spearhead their experimental line Shadow Project. And in 2014, Nike tapped Hugh to revamp Nike ACG. I've always said, you know, from early on days, our, our goal is always just to do the next season. <laughs> and, uh, and that hasn't changed. This is how Acronym launched a new niche market and brought cult streetwear style to the masses, all without losing its mystifying underground appeal. Behind the Hype, Acronym. We wanted to create something where design led everything. It wasn't you know, sales or market share, none of that. One of Acronym's first big breaks was the Burton Analog MD clone jacket, it with a Sony mini disc and digital music player sewn right into its fabric, retailing for 999 US dollars and named one of the best inventions by Time Magazine in 2002. Much like the clone jacket, pretty much everything Acronym touches tends to set off rapid demand. Acronym and Nike Lab Air Presto Mid Collection sells on StockX for upwards of 400 US dollars. The Acronym and Nike Lunar Force goes for almost 500 US dollars. And items from the Acronym Design Stone Island Shadow Project can reach over 1,000 US dollars retail and several thousand dollars in resale. Legendary graffiti artist Futura customized a set of Acronym garments for his 60th birthday celebration in 2015. Acronym's cryptic garment terminology has become its calling card. The first character refers to the type of item. H for hat, P for pant. The second character refers to number design indicator. The third character refers to additional features or versions. And the fourth character refers to the type and origin of the fabric. The, the main goal of that stuff is that our pattern makers and our people in the factory and even in design studio can read the number and be like, oh, it's that one. In 1994, Errolson Hugh and Michaela Sachenbacher founded Acronym in Munich, Germany as an independent design agency and consulted streetwear brands seeking to fuse style and technology into functional apparel. Hugh has taken inspiration from karate since childhood, especially the generous geometry of the karate gi, which makes no restrictions on the body's movement. He imparts his clothing with the freedom and spirit of self-reliance he learned from the sport. His first collection, released in 2002, set that tone. Acronym's first full collection, Kit One, was released in 120 editions of packaged sets. The response from consumers was strong, and Acronym's concept resonated with the industry. In 2005, Acronym launched Subnet Mask, a password-secured website only granted to customers by recommendation from Acronym. From this exclusive website, buyers could view the new collections and make orders, allowing Acronym to better control distribution and overheads. So when the company began to grow from 2009 onward, it was important to Hugh that growth was undertaken slowly and carefully, not just for the sake of it. But that gamble paid off, allowing Acronym to compete with brands several times its size. 2014 marked the beginning of Hugh's work on the Nike Lab ACG line. His partnership with Nike lasted about four years until it concluded following the fall-winter 2018 collection. Acronym continues to leave its footprint across culture. At Hype Fest in 2018, Acronym and RoboRace came together to envision the future of racing, including a custom Robocar, capsule collection, and VR experience designed by Acronym. And just this April, Acronym teamed up with Kojima Production to release the Death Standing Bridges variant J1A GT jacket, in line with the upcoming release of the PlayStation game. The jacket sold out in mere minutes. With zero marketing besides word of mouth and a few magazine features, Acronym built its name entirely on the quality and distinct technical appeal of its products, never resorting to shortcuts or easy gimmicks. You know, we just do our thing and have done our thing for so long. And, and really we did it probably the first eight years and, and like literally no one cared. So our whole process doesn't have that part where it takes in feedback from the outside. Like that's just not there. So, so we're just gonna keep doing our thing until we run it into the wall. It's this product first approach that allowed the brand to earn the praise of big names. 
relationships with established brands, and expand its reach across all facets of culture while staying authentic to its roots in the techwear scene. Constructing garments people don't just covet, but trust.